Good morning, folks. That was cute yesterday. Many people interpreting my words like I took time off. The devil wishes. You know, back to reality there, Tinkerbell, because we've got a CME coming today. Starting with the last 24 hours on our star at spaceweathernews.com, we find the last day on the sun pretty quiet, almost like it's watching and waiting to see how its CME impacted Earth does. Small motions, filaments lifting around the limbs, one failed to erupt center disk. So let's go to the solar wind where the impact will appear later today as larger spikes in the telemetry. You will notice that the geomagnetic conditions are getting tickled a bit here this morning. It's by the phi angle flip in the solar wind, gently stirring like a warm up before the big game of the CME. Folks, I agree with the main forecast from NOAA. 90% chance of geomagnetic storms before we speak again tomorrow, 5% chance of extreme storm conditions. While we absolutely expect regional, localized, and system confined or satellite issues in communication, travel, internet, etc., this is not the global grid killer. So we move on to seismicity, where La Palma has broken the threshold at magnitude 5. If you've been freaking out every day over this volcano, you must be exhausted. Well, sadly, now she's hit the level where you can worry and watch more closely for the larger events. That's something I'll ask the forecasters to do globally, actually, as blot echoes are spread all over, atmospheric signals are back and forth, and we've got geomagnetic instigation coming here soon today. Up first in the articles, it's Avi Loeb from Harvard coming back for a review about a year later and trouncing his opponents on the alien spacecraft idea. He got a lot of flack from the field when he said it was possible this was an alien spacecraft, this paper is why you don't throw stones at the throne if you're not sure. What if he throws them right back at you? Anyway, coolest paper I've read in months up next, saying that magneto reception, that's old news. It's electro reception that deserves the discussion in ecology. I was stunned at the review. So widespread. So many factors, from the charge of the creatures to how they sense charge at the cellular level. Folks, I'd say magneto reception was a huge topic in biology. I didn't realize electroreception was poised to be bigger. Utterly epic and open source, free to read literature review of electroreception in the animal kingdom. And folks, didn't exactly mean to throw shade on magnetoreception. We do know it is a lifeline for numerous creatures from birth to finding food to mating to predator evasion. Here, certain species lose all ability to forage for food without the field. Not a good look for them with the field fading and shifting now. And speaking of those events, can't stress this enough, and it's here again now. Folks, there is no doubt Le Champ was the worst excursion of the last glacial cycle, but it doesn't always show up like that in every single place across the world. Scant showing here for all earlier excursions, with the younger Dryas and Gothenburg event showing up more strongly here. Remember, it can be horrible globally, and your little zone happens to get lucky. It could be a weak global excursion event, and yet your tiny bit of land sinks into the sea. There's luck involved, and it's a different story every time. We greatly appreciate your support. Website members, awesome podcast coming up later today. We've got our textbooks and children's books at otf.cells.com. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.